the zs prize was truly an innovative way of inviting and appraising technological talent which is potentially applicable for transformation of the health system in terms of greater effectiveness of health service delivery addressing important health problems which are still not adequately addressed in this country but what sets apart the zs prize from other similar exercises of providing opportunities for awards for innovation is that not only were a large number of applications received of potential young entrepreneurs who came up with very bright ideas for technological innovation relevant to health system transformation but they were also after the initial shortlisting mentored thoroughly by professionals not only in terms of providing guidance on the technical components of their projects but also in their communication and presentation skills so that they could actually make a much better presentation to any potential audience which might apply their innovation whether it's health system managers or in this case the jury itself therefore shaping each of the entrepreneurs with a good idea into making a very well developed and well shaped i a final project for the product and also ensuring that the presentation itself is quite convincing and persuasive i think that was a very important contribution in terms of supporting these young entrepreneurs also external experts were brought in to all comment upon the quality of the idea as well as the overall project proposal and i think in terms of goodness of fit to the health system needs and the health system opportunities for providing these innovations a place uh, to be accommodated within the existing health system i think that was also important because these experts knew exactly where the needs lay and where the potential problems could arise in applying some of these suggested innovations and then of course came the jury itself which was composed of different categories of people who brought in different types of expertise all at a very high level of course those who had a lot of technical expertise those who had public health and health system expertise those who were managers of large health enterprises and people who also came in with industry background who knew what the marketing potential was and where they had to overcome certain barriers in terms of making it market worthy so bringing in all of these perspectives together was a very valuable exercise because the whole idea was not to just reward what appeared to be a, a good proposal but to make it truly a road worthy enterprise that can actually find application within the larger health system of india the jury was presented eight very good proposals they were all excellent in fact they addressed very important problems of great relevance to the country they also came up with ideas which were potentially transformational in terms of enhancing the outreach and effectiveness of health service delivery several of them focused also on vulnerable groups and they would have definitely each one of them added great value uh, to the health system in their chosen area therefore it was somewhat of a difficult exercise to compare them but we had to do it obviously there had to be one winner and there were also two runners up but the criteria that the jury employed were not only the novelty of the idea the magnitude of the health problem that was being addressed the potential for accommodating the innovation into the existing health system or where the health system could easily be modified to accommodate it with good impact 
the equity dimension of the problem being addressed, and also what is the potential for sustainability and scalability. In addition, the candidates were awarded also if they had already established contact with potential sponsors and funders and had shown that their idea had already found some degree of welcome or acceptance in potential investors who would back the idea into further production. So the whole idea here was not to merely let a floating idea get the prize, merely because it sounded good, but because it also needed to meet a very important health system purpose, but with a potential for practical application in a relatively near term. And then if it had other elements coming into it, for example, if they were out competing any other available products in a similar line, and if they were cost effective, all of those considerations also came into play. I believe anybody who has a good idea in terms of developing a technology for application in the health field and for providing much greater access to people for better health services and improving the quality of health services as well, they should try and pitch for the ZS price. It is a great opportunity for the talent that exists in India and the enterprise that people are exhibiting now in advancing that idea to try and apply for the ZS price and see how they can match up to the criteria that are laid down in the ZS price. Then they will recognize whether the idea they have, however good it is, is truly practical and applicable and what added value it will bring to the health system. And in that, to refine their ideas further and then come up with a product which is likely to be very helpful. If the ideas are very good and they fit in with the criteria of the price and they outcompete others, they'll certainly get the award. But the real reward lies even if they don't get the prize itself in advancing their idea to such a higher level of development that they may indeed come up with a product that's going to make a tremendous difference and win them a great deal of acclaim for enhancing the ability of our health system. So while I wish everybody the best of luck in getting the ZS prize, the real prize lies in having your innovation advance to accomplishment and for that accomplishment result in impact with equity. Thank you.